Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so if you remember in one of the episodes, I briefly touched about Einstein discovery. Um, so I just wanted to expand a little bit more uh, on this topic um, so that you have a little bit more clear understanding what Einstein discovery is all about, right? So I'm pretty sure, right, if you're a company, if you use Salesforce, you will have data, right? And obviously you want to get information out of the data, right? Now, the data, like as people, you know, in the past used to say, electricity, uh, maybe back 100 years ago, might have said like electricity is the, is the next big thing. Now the data is the next big thing as good like electricity because data gives you a lot of information about the present and it can predict uh, present past and can predict the future, right? Um, so Einstein discovery kind of fit in that equation where, you know, it takes your uh, data, which is modeled, let's say for the sake of argument, which is modeled in Salesforce, and it augmented and used the modeling principles behind the scene with the help of uh, machine learning model, uh, concept like supervised uh, learning to give that uh, data, in, uh, give that insight into the, your uh, into your data to predict your uh, to, uh, to help you with the prediction, right? So in a simple terms, if I wanted to put it, it will give you that business intelligence capability uh, to your data, right? Uh, now, Einstein uh, discovery can be used for different uh, scenarios. Um, it can be used for your classification problem, like if you wanted to ca find out, you know, for instance, whether... Uh, this guy will stay with us or whether this guy won't stay with us as a as a kind of attrition rate or if you're if you're modeling uh, say for instance if you're implementing salesforce for a pharma you can say okay whether this drug will be successful on this type of cancer or whether this drug will not be successful on this type of cancer so it's like a kind of a classification uh, it can also work on the regression model, like I, I briefly touched about the regression model in the past. So I won't be talking about it in detail. If you haven't watched my previous episode, I highly encourage you to check that. So um, it can also work on, you know, multi-class classification. It's where it's not about like a zero or one, but in fact, uh, with many possible results, right? So um, that's one of the problem it can help you solve now the it does need a different license if you're thinking well is it free it's not free so from a licensing perspective as you can see it uses a crm and uh, analytical plus license and crm prediction license so uh either of them is needed uh without that you pretty much can't use it right because if you're the one thing i wanted to mention when i talk about a product uh that it it will need a license it's not a free product right so uh, like i said it will you know train with your data and give you that insight which will help you with the prediction right and it can also uh, help you which columns are mostly important when it comes to prediction if you have let's say um uh, six features right which is contributing to that model uh to give you the right output so it will also tell you out of the six features, which one is contributing, which one is of high importance, which can uh, impact your uh, output prediction. So that's one thing it can do, and it's very powerful. Um, you can also, so one other thing, right? Obviously you must be thinking, um, if I take a step back, right? How is it doing, right? Do you have to create a model for it? Or what's the story? Right, we're talking about prediction, talking about data augmentation. What exactly is it about, right? How are we going to achieve that? So to answer that question, you can create a model based on your data, and you can train your model. And based on that uh, model, um, you can. Uh, so the Einstein uh, discovery will uh, give you um, your uh, expected output. The one thing you need to uh, remember that uh, you can also use the external models to get the desired output, right? So uh, this, I've already talked about it. You can get insight into your data. 
uh, using ancient discovery, which is a very um, powerful feature in my opinion. Um, now, one of the challenge, right, especially with this course, I mean, I, I sometimes I wonder, should I really get into the hands-on aspect of uh, this uh, Einstein sub? It's just not really needed because this course don't expect you to know detail and nitty gritty um, aspect of Einstein, which I believe can be good or can be bad. In the bad in the sense, right? I mean, I, I'm I'm more hands on kind of person, right? I don't like just to talk about theory. It's it's just pointless for me. So what I'll do, right? As a as an extra stuff, I will do some hands on when we finish the course, right? Uh, this will ensure that you have some fairly decent understanding. I don't want people to think, oh, this guy's making free course, so he doesn't not give a shit about the quality. That's not the point, right? That's not what I'm after. Otherwise, why should I even waste my time? I should be focusing on climate change stuff, right? Rather than making a YouTube video on Salesforce, right? The only reason I wanted to do that, I wanted to give it back to the ecosystem, right? Because I you work on this ecosystem. Uh, I extract a lot of stuff from this ecosystem. So I wanted to give it back. So that's the only vision and intention for me. It's not about making money. Uh, I don't make any money from the YouTube channel, not much. Most of my money comes from climate change stuff, what I do. I mean, I run a foundation, so obviously I get funding from it. And based on funding, I do stuff, right? So I have more higher prospects on that side. So, I'm, so that doesn't mean that I, I don't want to do this. I wanted to do that, but... Uh, so just don't think that, you know, I want since it's a free, I won't be, you know, adding quality stuff. I just wanted to make sure where I can draw the line. That's what I'm getting at, right? Because a lot of things is not needed. And a lot of people might be new to Salesforce and they might get overwhelmed. What the heck is this guy trying to do? So I wanted to give you guys a theoretical approach uh, from a product perspective. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And yes, and then we will look into the hands-on aspect, right? Okay, so uh, you can create your own model. Uh, there are templates, which you can do that, which is pretty simple. Um, yeah, and also, uh, before I get into template, if it also send you alerts, like for instance, if you have a data, and inside the data, if, you, if it sees some kind of uh, anomaly or some kind of discrepancy, it will send out an alert. Even you have that capability built in um, with, um, Einstein discovery. There are uh, something called data alert, and yeah, and so yeah, and wait a second, yeah. So as I was saying about the models from templates, right? So you can use the out of box models to do that. It's very powerful functionality. Um, so you don't have to really, you know, uh, do everything from scratch, right? Um, like I said, you can also bring outside model. Uh, it's somewhere it says here. Just a second. Uh, my apologies, I'm showing this from a trailhead because I don't want it to build a slide. Like I said, it just wasted my time uh, to build a slide when everything is there. And it's very, and so I don't take any credit. So it's all trailer stuff. Right. Uh, now, one more thing I just wanted to talk about. You must be thinking, what is a model? Uh, it's a sophisticated mathematical construct that Einstein discovery create based on settings and data. So it's something which uh, relies heavily on the data because obviously a model needs to work according to the data. Otherwise, what's the point of having a model, right? Um, so one more thing I just wanted to... So what I was, yeah, so coming to this picture, right, as you can see that you can get a pretty uh, good looking visual representation of your data and it can also suggest you recommend, it also can recommend you a few things uh, as a part of an output recommendation. Um, so this is very powerful tool in my opinion. So you, if you get a question around, let's say, uh, augmenting uh, your data using business intelligence and stat statistic modeling, uh, which uses sophisticated machine learning, um, which uses uh, supervised machine learning, and then you know the answer to it. It's Einstein's discovery we're talking about, right? You can, can you create your own models using a template? Yes, you can. You can, uh, you can also use external uh, models which are created uh, with the discovery. 
So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about uh, from an overview perspective. I hope this is informative. So I wanted to ensure that you guys understand, like we have Einstein board, we talk about, I've demonstrated from a different platform how the boards looks like, how it uses natural language processing behind the scene to interact with the user and how you can, you know, uh, uh, start the real conversation at the right time before um, you even start uh, building Einstein bots, right? And there are a lot of the, uh, conversation and business case that goes that goes behind the scene before you even build Einstein bot. Uh, it's not like you know you gave some tasks to developer and developer started building the the conversation uh, with an assumption. It all needs to be part of the governance process, right? What all things needs to be. Uh, address what all how the conversation will start, how the conversation will end, uh, what all the things that the bot should watch out, how to avoid the bias, how to not to discriminate, that kind of stuff. You need to worry about it, right? When you're building an Einstein bot, it's not just a very simple point and click. That's just how to use a tool. But there are a lot of things that goes behind the tool to create the tool. Uh, I mean, to make it valuable for the customer. It's so yeah, that's very important. So that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday. Adios.